This section will cover things to consider when creating a budget and funding options for your student organization. Budgets can vary by organization, but proper budget management can allow your organization to be successful. In order to set your budget, you'll need to ask yourself four important questions. Does your organization have a current bank account? This can be either an on-campus account through the university or off-campus account at a private bank like Chase, PNC, Wintrust, etc. If you have an account, how much money is currently in there? Do you have access to it? If you don't have a current account, do you need to establish one? Information about financial accounts can be found in the Student Organization Handbook. If you have any questions, you can contact OSI at studentorgs at depaul.edu. DePaul University encourages you to use an on-campus account instead of an off-campus account. While off-campus accounts may be convenient, they do have drawbacks. A major drawback is that off-campus accounts are tied to individuals instead of organizations. If an individual member makes an unauthorized withdrawal from an off-campus account, DePaul University cannot regulate the account or provide any help. With on-campus accounts, the funds held in them roll over from year to year and stay with the organization instead of an individual. Additional benefits include having payments processed for online purchases quickly with the help of OSI staff, the ability for DePaul to review and sign off on contracts for funds used with the account, convenient transfers for on-campus payments, including printing, chartwells, and more. For information on opening an on-campus account, please contact studentorgs at depaul.edu. What are our funding sources and how do we plan on raising money to fund our activities this year? Some common methods used are charging dues, bake sales, dying to donate events, receiving financial support from a university department, and funding from the Student Activity Fee Board, SAFB. There are multiple different ways you can raise money, and it's important to think about this early on. For more information about fundraising, bake sales, and SAFB, refer to the Student Organization Handbook. Active undergraduate student organizations can apply for funding. Before applying for funds, your president and treasurer must attend funding training. More information about funding workshops and specific funding opportunities for the 2021-2022 academic year will be provided over the summer to student organization leaders. How much money does our organization need this year in order to be successful and accomplish our mission? Think about operational expenses and supplies, conferences or tournaments your organization wants to attend, events you want to host, etc. As you go through the year, this amount may change based on several factors. However, it's really important you try to get a baseline number so you can properly plan early on. Based on our financial need, what is our financial plan throughout the year and how will we have the proper funds? Having an established plan for raising money can make a huge difference. If you fail to plan for this, you may end up canceling events, conferences, etc. Make sure to consider backup plans as well. For example, you may have a plan to raise $300 at a bake sale in the student center, but you only raise $100. What is your plan to raise the additional $200 needed? Another bake sale? Will you have members pay out of pocket to cover the expenses? We recommend you think about this early on so you can keep your personal expenses to an absolute minimum. In most organizations, the treasurer is responsible for budget management. Your treasurer is vital to keeping track of your organization's money, how it is spent, the status of your financial accounts, among other things. It is also a good idea to have one other eBoard member work with your treasurer on budget management. In the event your treasurer is busy, leaves the organization, etc., it's important that more than one leader knows your current financial status. 
This backup person is sometimes the president, but it can vary by organization. The Office of Student Involvement has a convenient process for you to handle payments for your student organization. For most organization categories, visit DHUB and upload the required information to the payment processing form to process contracts, invoices, reimbursements, and more. For club sports, visit DHUB and upload required information to the club sports contract submission form. While the required information is the same, club sport payments need approval from the campus recreation. Before fall quarter, make sure to sit down with your eboard and plan out your year. Take into account the changing environment that we are in during 2021. Consider the goals, missions, and focus of your group and how these may play out in the potential environments we may be in. Having a year roadmap is critical for success. Consider the following about your organization goals. When and where will your general body meetings take place? What are your signature events, tournaments, or conferences? When are those and how are you going to make them happen? What does success look like for your organization? How many members do you want in your organization? And how will you recruit new members? If you have any remaining questions about budgeting or funding for your student organizations, don't hesitate to email us at studentorgs at depaul.edu with any questions.